In this video, I explain that C and CDC, which is, contentionless, and why, contentionless network, required. Before we go first, let's define contentionless. A road site is contentionless, if it is possible to simultaneously, add and drop the same wavelength in different directions. This might come as a bit of, surprise, but fixed mux demux, legacy rodents, directional configuration, were contentionless. Let's understand, this from, legacy configuration we have, directional, and then we'll move to, directionless, and look on that, how contention occur. This site having, east, and west direction, and, let's assume, we want to insert, a red wavelength, in the east direction, and one in the, west direction. This is possible, using a legacy road, where one transponder, is connected to, the east mux demux, and another transponder, is connected, to the west mux demux. The red wavelength, can be added, to every direction, using separate transponders, and these wavelengths, can be kept physically separate, so we can easily, add drop same wavelength, on same site. This configuration is, directional, and with introduction of, directionless road, we have collapsed, the add drop complex, into a single device, which provides access, to all road degrees. One consequence of the, directionless road, is any wavelength, can only be used once, and be routed in, a single direction. For example, if a service provider, adds a red wavelength, in the east direction, then, a red wavelength, cannot be added to, any other direction, from that, directionless module. This can lead to, wavelength blocking scenarios. This is called, contention occur. So while doing planning, or in field, there are a few ways, to address, this blocking issue. The most common are, just, accept this limitation. In cases, where the, wavelength count is low, and the number of rodent degrees, is low, the likelihood of, facing a blocking issue, is low, and simple directionless architecture, is sufficient, and more cost effective. Second approach, use less, and multiple wavelength, add drop module, as this wavelength blocking applies, when we have, single add drop module, like in, directionless configuration. Third approach, move to contentionless. A contentionless road, typically referred to as, CDC, which provides, a single add drop complex, with colorless, and directionless functionality. And the ability to, add and drop, multiple instances of the same wavelength, on the same drop complex. In this configuration, we use enhanced cards, let understand those first. First dual 1 crows 20 WSS. This pack having dual WSS, rest all functionalities, are same like other, configuration road and WSS, here, one WSS used to add, and one used to drop the traffic. For dropping the signal, one WSS receive, the signal from amplifier, and send to, WSS output port, which will, connect with fiber shuffle. For add signal, one WSS receive, the signal from fiber shuffle, and send to, WSS other port, which will, connect with amplifier. Next is, Mesh Fiber Shuffle Card also called as FSM, Fiber Shuffle Module. This PEC have around, 12 ports, and on that side, it's connect with, Multicast Switch Card, or Array Card, using MPO Cable. On other side, this card having, 8 ports, and output will connect, with different WSS, for 8 directions, using MPO Cable. These 12 ports, are interconnected with 8 ports, using internal fiber routing, to add, or drop the signal. Now using, this connectivity, signal can be route, to specific direction. Also, the 8 ports, towards WSS, are also connect with each other, to transmit signal for, mesh connectivity, or can say, pass through, the signal. In fiber shuffle cards, having interconnectivity, for adding, or dropping the signal, and 8 ports, connectivity for, pass through the signal. 
The next pack is, Multicast Switch Card, Shorts, MCS. This card having, 16 ports, to connect with, transponder, or muxponder, to add, or drop the signal. Inside this card, having fiber routing, and then, MCS, to direct the signal to, 8 degrees. Other side of this card, connect with, array card, or fiber shuffle card, with MPO cable. Next is, array card, this card having, 8 fixed gain amplifiers, use 2, offset the losses, from the MCS card. One side, it connect with, MCS, and other side with, WSS, using MPO cables. You may not see, array card, as some of the manufacturer, integrated the array card, with MCS, means MCS, in build having, array card. These are the, main components of, CDC architecture, now let's, connect them each other, to transmit the signal. MCS card, connect with, fiber shuffle, and the output, of fiber shuffle, connect with 8 dual WSS, for different direction. Output of WSS, connect with amplifier. Similar, if want to connect, more direction, will connect WSS, with fiber shuffle. Now, let's looks on, add, drop, and pass through, scenarios. For illustration purpose, we'll send red light in this diagram. In the add direction, transponder, is connected with, MCS card, and MCS, direct signals, from add drop ports, to particular degrees, bound port. The array, in the add direction, amplifies the signal. Then fiber shuffle, direct the signal, to particular degree, WSS add ports. WSS, select signal, from the add ports, and signal is amplified, by the amplifier, and transmitted. On this now, if same wavelength is added, it's directs from, MCS to different degree, and from fiber shuffle, send to particular degree WSS. Similar in the, drop direction, signal is received, at the amplifier, and WSS selects channels, and directs them, to the correct drop port, to reach those MCS. Array, in the drop direction, amplifies the signal. And signal, drop on transponder. In the mesh configuration, to pass through the signal, between degrees, signal is received at, amplifier, and then WSS, selects channels and send to fiber shuffle. Fiber shuffle, using internal connectivity, directs them to the, correct ports, to reach those degrees, and from WSS, of that degree, signal transmitted. 